This is the show made by 20-somethings for 20-somethings. For people who have been there, done that, or thought about it. It could be fantastic. It could suck. It could be phenomenal. We are making this up as we go along. This is an experiment. This is who we is. We're a bunch of 20-somethings. Hello and welcome to 20-somethings TV Hot Topics. Today I'm joined by co-hosts Amelia, Morgan, and Michael. Our first topic of discussion is the expulsion of Democratic represent representatives of the Tennessee House over a protest of gun violence. Let's take a look at a clip from ABC News Washington. Furious gun control advocates swarming the Tennessee state capitol as anticipation grows that Republicans in the state legislature could oust three of their Democratic colleagues for allegedly violating House rules. The crowd cheering as the under fire representatives, Justin Jones, Gloria Johnson, and Justin Pearson, walked out of an elevator holding hands. Pearson later raising his fist in solidarity with the demonstrators. Hours into Thursday's session, the first of the series of extraordinary votes, Republican members voting first to expel Jones. Uh, yeah, so Amelia, I believe you uh, wanted to talk about this topic if yeah. you would like to add some you know some more yeah context so just to, to sort of sum up the clip if you sure. are confused um, basically a week ago or about a week ago three Tennessee Democratic representatives um, were basically holding a protest in the chamber for gun reform um, and two out of three of them were in fact expelled um, President Biden himself said that this was undemocratic which I completely agree with um, and the one representative who was not expelled was Gloria, who is Gloria Johnson, and she is white. Uh, so she thinks it is a race issue, which would not be surprising given uh, the things we've seen happen in this country, particularly in the last few years. Um, yeah. Before we even go any further, I, it just it's mind blowing to me that this is even still happening. I remember like exactly where I was each shooting that has been that's been so like prominent in my you know growing up mm -hmm. as a kid in school when this was happening. I mean, Sandy Hook. Um, I know Columbine didn't happen when I was alive, but mm -hmm. we had to learn about that, uh, the Parkland, Florida shooting, like all of these things, and they're still happening. So before we go any deeper, I, I just, my heart just goes out to all of these people that uh, have lost their lives, the people that are impacted by it, the children, the families, the, the faculty, the staff, the people who might want to go into professions such as teaching, and now you're afraid that you got to like, you know, instead of teaching ABCs, you're shooting like, you know, the shootings. And, uh, it's yeah. just, it's upsetting, yeah. and it's tragic, and that's, ugh, don't get me going. There's like, actually been going. more uh, shootings than days in 2023, I believe. Um, there was actually a new shooting today in Louisville, Kentucky, wow. in a bank. Um, I think the last time I checked, it was five are dead, six injured, including an officer that responded to the scene. Wow. Can I ask an honest question sure. without like anyone taking this the wrong way? Do you feel like you've been desensitized to these shootings? Oh, 100%, yeah. I, yes, I know definitely. for a fact I have laid in bed and woken up in the morning instead of scrolling through Facebook and just seen another shooting. It's like, oh, another shooting. Yeah. It's terrible yeah. that it's gotten to that point. I remember yeah. uh, my freshman year of high school, there was an open threat that on a specific day there was going to be a school shooting, and there was a 10% attendance rate that day. And that happened like two or three times throughout high school, and it just became so normal that, yeah, it's... Yeah. So actually, back when I was a student here, let's go back prehistoric days, we actually had... Um, I remember hearing about this. Keith, <laughs> Keith actually <laughs> oh, told us did? about this. Yeah, yeah I think there so. was, um, we had a shooter threat, yes. which now they say was a Nerf gun. I don't know <laughs> if I believe that. However, it was even then desensitized to the fact where I remember where I was and I was working somewhere on campus and, you know, they didn't want to shut the doors. They're like, it's fine. Like, it's not that serious. It's probably nothing. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, we were supposed to be on lockdown, but, you know, protocols weren't even being followed because people are just like, oh, like you hear about it all the time or it's not going to happen to me. It's, I think so many things that happen nowadays, people it's take like that It's like it's not going to happen to me. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Yeah. It could happen to somebody else, but it's not going to happen to me. It doesn't yeah, exactly. happen to you until it happens to someone you know and then it right. becomes real. Yeah. yeah. Until you're, or you know, or struck by it you, personally yeah. Yeah. or there's something that ties you to it it's never going to happen to you right yeah. yeah that's the mindset right yeah yeah 
Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but um, Kelsey Ballerini actually hosted the Country Music Awards this year, and she uh, brought up too, you think country, you think kind of conservative, she brought up you know, the issue of gun violence that we have in this country. And a lot of people made a lot of headlines because they were like, she's hosting this, and they thought it was like a controversial thing to do, whereas I think it's like incredible that she used her platform. She used that platform yeah. specifically, yeah. yeah. Right. That's when it's a, you know, it's a popular genre in states that are you know, more vocal on yeah. protecting their Second Amendment rights. But, um, yeah. yeah, speaking of uh, speaking of Tennessee, there's been a lot of states that have begin, uh, they've begun banning uh, drag queens from performing in areas with children and other public properties. Bills have already been filed in the following states, Arizona, Arkansas, Iowa, Idaho, Kansas, Kentucky, Minnesota, Missouri, Montana, North Dakota, Nebraska, o Oklahoma, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, and West Virginia. It's uh, like, that's like 16 states. That's, I mean, that's ridiculous. Do you think, do you think that drag queens are being targeted here? Like, to, a, to an extent, yes. And I feel like, like they use the reasoning for this as like protecting children, mm -hmm. but from what? Like, what are these performances going to do to these children, except for expand their, like, um, just their knowledge on the world and different people and different... Let me um, ask you something. Is it going to teach them how to use a gun and shoot up a school? No. Thank you. I'm not going to say, that. we have more bans on drag queens than we do on guns. It's Florida just, yeah. yeah. I remember Who are we really so protecting? distinctly, uh, I think it was 2019, because I was here, and there was going to be a drag show at a local library. I think it was in Bristol or in yeah, Warren. Yeah. I can't remember. And the Bishop of Rhode Island made a statement saying how, you know, if you are a Catholic or, you know, practicing any religion really, like, you should not be attending that because that's going to corrupt your children and teach them, you know, inappropriate things and this and that. Like, reading a book is reading a book. Yeah. It doesn't matter who's reading you that book. I mean, it was just so upsetting to me to hear that that was being preached to such a, a massive group of people in the state and, you know, people that look up to and respect this individual uh, to spread that message. That sounds like that group's being targeted as well as that list of 75 billion states you just listed. That yeah. sounds like targeting to me, right? I, I yeah. don't think yeah. it can, can be considered not targeting, but it's, it's very selective the way that people choose to, you know, look at these things or, you know, blame their religion. Like, they're like, oh, d like, drag queens go against whatever, you know, God's will, whatever. Okay, does God want everyone to be shot up? Like, I don't think so, but it's just really convenient, like, the things people use. And I think, you know, it's really sad because I do know some people that, you know, are religious and, and it, they express that they feel like, you know, when extremists say that this follows their religion, then it's like that gives us the rest of them a bad name because it's like you're just using it, you're hiding behind it, you're using it as a shield mm -hmm. to protect these hateful things you want to put into motion when it's not really, you know, religion. It's, it's like you're just, yeah. you yeah. just have a lot of hate in your heart, which is disgusting. You're using yeah. a platform that you should be utilizing right. for positivity and good messages mm -hmm. and love to spread negativity. It's the exact opposite right. of what it was intended to be. Yeah. And that's not fair. It's, it's totally a shield, what you said. I agree. Yeah, mm. 100%. Do you think these bans will continue to spread, or do you think there's going to be like a, some backlash in regards? Mm. I don't know. I think a lot of things have, uh, I wish, I would like to say yes. Uh -huh. I think they should be stopped. I think we should like slow our roll. But I feel like so many things fly nowadays, and half the times they're not even, you know, publicized half the times these things are happening and I feel like I read an article and it's like oh what you missed last week it's like what was slipped into a bill that like now drag queens are banned and it's like it's not even forth front the things that are in the news are like you know celeb what celebrities getting a new show or sometimes we yeah. get the shootings and, and then, it's oh, like by the way. Wait, oh by the way <laughs> all these kids died and it's like it's oh like and also no drag queens bottom. but also it's just it's out of control yeah it's out of control and it's what's being you know told as the news and it's all horrible, basically, and I feel like there's people where I don't watch TV news anymore because it's, like, depressing, but then it's, like, a balance of wanting to stay informed because I don't want to be, like, that blissful ignorance. Sure. And I think, you know, it's things like this where, you, we, you know, hopefully you guys are bringing the news to people in a consumable way, but it's just, it's hard. It's really hard to it's find difficult. that balance. Yeah. I've kind of fallen into that blissful ignorance yeah. part of it because... 
it, yeah, it's it's almost it's like curated for entertainment now. Right. It's like a lot of these television shows. They're not they're not seeking to provide you know a political you know an, or an accurate like you know source of news. It's more just to you know feed people at the end of the hypodermic needle. Um, actually, I think you know another point about the drag queens is you know they bring a lot of light and you know brevity and enjoyment and joy to an otherwise dark world. We've obviously been talking about a lot of dark topics sure. today. Um, so. Funnily enough, I don't know if you guys know the drag queen Trixie Mattel. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah of course. <laughs> Trixie, uh, <laughs> you know, mimics her look after looking like a, you know, human Barbie doll. Okay. Which is, you know, so fitting because the Barbie movie is coming out soon. Yes, Not soon July. enough. But yeah, yeah. soon. Same yes, day's July. Oppenheimer, yeah. What? Another movie. Sorry. Okay. I, it's like all I hear is Barbie and nothing else. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I mean, yeah, this new Barbie movie's coming out, directed by Greta Gerwig, co-written by her. Greta Gerwig yes. and Noah Baumbach Queen. of yeah, Little Little Women and Lady Bird fame. Yes. Uh, there's been a couple trailers. It was something that we're all kind of wondering is what is this movie about? What do you mm. what do you all think this movie's about? Do you have any you know theories or anything? Mm, my best guess is like Barbie. Um. It's a good one. That's a good <laughs> one. Wow, I like that. Wow. Yeah. I'm Really intellectual, actually. Um, so I heard someone say Barbie goes to the real world, and I hope that's not true, because like I want to go in like Barbie Paradise and stay there. I think like, it, that's what happens. Okay, I hope so. Wait, you think it goes to the real world? In the trailer, they go to the real world, yeah. Well, it wasn't very clear in the trailer I saw. Anyway, I like the part where Barbie and Ken were talking, and she, he was like, I'm going to sleep over, because we're boyfriend and girlfriend. And she's like, why? He's like, because we're boyfriend and girlfriend. She's like, and what are we going to do? And he's like, I honestly don't know. But we're boyfriend and girlfriend. I know what they can do. Well, Michael, <laughs> this is a kid's show. Um, is it? Kid-friendly show. Okay. You know what? <laughs> is it a kid's show? <laughs> we just went so from gun violence to... Yeah, well, um, they have to learn about that in school Well, Michael, anyway, let's so. just control ourselves here, Sorry. please. Anyway, I, this, this, this movie has an insane cast. Like, yeah. literally crazy cast. Oh, who were you surprised to see? Because they revealed some of the people in the cast. Is there any, you know, yeah, anyone you're surprised to see here? All of the above. Okay, thank you. Give thank me you, Morgan. Give me a name I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, Michael don't Sarah. Know anyone. I don't know. You don't Dua know. Lipa. Actually, yes. Tubi? You know Dua Lipa? I know Dua Lipa. She's I can sing Dua Lipa for you. Now. Oh. <laughs> Give me a Dua Lipa song. We d I mean, we didn't ask th that. Levitating? Levitating? I'm levitating. We can fly away with this. The Milky Way. Fly I'm levitating. That was That's terrible. All, all right. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, there's such a good cast. I got you. I'm thrilled. All night. <laughs> Moonlight. Spotlight. Starlight. I can... I need you. All, all, all right, all right, uh, all right. Okay. Anyway, so anyway. Um, Michael Sarah is a weird pick for me, I think. Yeah, he's playing Alan, which is an alternate version of Ken from the 1960s. Yeah, I think he'll do great. It's just a uh, very interesting it's hilarious, se selection. Yeah. How do you guys feel about Ryan Gosling as Ken? I've seen a lot of mixed reviews. I mean, that's probably like the ideal casting. Yeah, I love Ryan Gosling. Do you not know who Ryan Gosling is? <laughs> give me, give me something. That you I know don't Ryan know Ryan. Ryan uh, the Notebook. Notebook. I specifically asked before we started this not to humiliate me and like. Why are you talking about Ryan What's Gosling? Happening right uh, Blade, Blade no What's happening right now? Blade, Blade Runner twenty forty nine. We're asking nope. you a simple question. Nope. You, oh my God. Okay, so. La La Land. Yeah. La La Land? No, but I remember that whole snafu. Well, he was in that movie. I never saw that. Anyway. <laughs> uh, all right. Will okay. Ferrell? Jesus. Yes. Elf, right? Yes. Will, Will Ferrell's in it? Will Ferrell? Yes. He's in everything. I'm not Will impressed. Plays the He's in everything. Oh Will Ferrell plays the villain here. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's uh, that's stressing me out. I, I'm, excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to see uh, Shudi Gatwa, who's the new uh, Doctor Who, to be mm. in the movie, I think that's gonna be really cool. Uh, Will Ferrell obviously is a great pick for the villain. I think that's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> he plays like a Mattel like corporate kind of guy, and I see I've seen him like rollerblading and stuff after a yeah, party. I didn't see any of that. <laughs> I, I think I only saw the second trailer, so I'm wondering what I missed. Hilarious. Uh, I'm looking at the cast right now. Dua Lipa is obviously that's a uh, cool casting. Um, besides that, that's, those are that's, <laughs> Marvel actors in it. His name escapes me. I can't believe I'm blanking Marvel on actor? his name. Yeah. Um, a oh, Simu Liu. Yes. Sh uh, yeah, Shang-Chi. Yes. That's cool. He plays one of the Kens. Yeah, he's a funny uh, interaction. I love him. Do you? Mm-hmm. Cool. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway. <laughs> I was like, I just love him. He's great. <laughs> no, I was excited to see him. I haven't seen him in anything other than Shang-Chi, so. Yeah. That's good. Anyway. Should be interesting. Anyway, if you were a Barbie house, which Barbie house would you be? What does that mean? Would you be a dream house? Would you be a beach house? Would I, you be, uh, I beach would be Barbie <laughs> airplane? Would you be the Barbie Corvette? Barbie airplane all the way, baby. Actually, I had the Barbie... Airplane. Me too. It was so fun. It was so fun. The seats moved. Oh, I was yeah. more of a so Lincoln good. Logs kid as a kid, I'll be yeah, honest. Yeah, you would be. 
I had Tonka trucks. Mario Kart Wii. <laughs> That's a good game. Mm -hmm. Who's uh, who's your main in Mario Kart Wii? I usually go with Luigi because that's my dad's name. Okay, Luigi. Luigi. That's funny, actually. I go. Princess Peach. This is so not related to anything. <laughs> it's okay. But on the Wii, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But were you ever like traumatized as a child by the Wii Fit balance board calling you obese? Yes. yes! I stand on this thing. It's like. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> that's and they would never <laughs> talk about ruining and my morale. They, they wouldn't. They wouldn't say. That, they wouldn't say that to me. They would just. They would not pick up my weight. They just wouldn't pick me up because I was like. Oh. We had opposite issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had opposite issues. Then like voice the air I would go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, you know what's funny is one day I ac I accidentally I spilled a chocolate milkshake on it and never worked again. I think that was really just my subconscious fighting back. You know, I was so offended by it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, but right? I, know, yes, yes. I mean, it was a great idea, just poor execution. It's I mean, true, those poor true. kids. Look how we turned out. And now we all have body image issues. <laughs> Thanks, Sad. Nintendo. All right. So, Barbie. Um. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, I, I thank you for watching this episode of 20 Somethings TV. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, oh, oh. Have you oh. seen any of the posters? Oh, you're so right. I almost forgot about this. Yes, the posters are hilarious. There's a poster for almost each and every one of the characters. And before we went, I wanted to show you this graphic that we had. Some Multiple. posters of, uh, I don't really know who about this, this Barbie oh, movie. Oh, my God. I, why would you use that picture? <laughs> I know her. Brooklyn, I have issues. <laughs> why would you plotting her escape again? Oh, uh, well, yeah. I love it. That's All right. Great. <laughs> Oh. Uh, wait, 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 go back, go back, go back. Myself. Is this Barbie is on This Barbie's on vacation. I'm going to go on vacation. Depression <laughs> vacation. Depression vacation. I like that. <gasps> oh, it's a great. Bus, bus driver. <laughs> you drive on the road in that. Rides, I've been called the bus driver before, yeah. Yeah, Everybody I love that. getting on the bus. That's beautiful. I'm waiting for the last one. Okay. Yeah, suspense. <gasps> this Barbie, Barbie is an icon. icon. A 20-somethings icon, of course. That is so nice. I feel like I really got the... What's the opposite of short end of the stick? I got the long end of the stick. Yes. And I'm honored. Oh, oh Barbie's an that's influential cool. This Barbie is an influential Facts. influencer. Facts. That's on period. Yeah. Wow. Real. I agree with that one. I would. Oh, I would, my gosh. Okay. I would spam that was awesome. some uh, TikTok. Keep TikToks. Thanks for those. I went fun. viral on TikTok once upon a time. No did way. you? I did. Hundreds <laughs> of thousands of likes. I'm serious. Speaking so of I'm viral on of TikTok, you. we actually, we have a mystery clip that none of us has seen. We're gonna play it right now. We're gonna react to it before we finish things up here. Yeah, uh, let's take a look. <laughs> Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. Let me uh, say something to all you and be as clear and concise as possible. Bud Light, and fuck Anheuser-Busch. Have a terrific day. What did Bud Light do? And that's they the problem with America. The, Why does that man uh, uh, have that oh kind of LGBTQ... Um, Oof. They, like, produced a... Anyway, now that we're all supporting. traumatized, <laughs> and it brings us full circle. <laughs> People are like, Bud Light. That's wild. Please don't buy a machine gun. Save the yeah. children. Also, don't just blow up... Bud Light, just for just for funsies, you know. Yeah, that guns in Most Fortnite. Most gun so deaths waste. are accidental. Because you don't know what you're doing. You think you're just shooting a can, and then you shoot yourself and your loved ones, and then your whole world falls apart, and it just all dissolves. Anyway. I need some water. On that note, on that very <laughs> depressing and uh, grim note, uh, thank mm -hmm. you for watching this episode of Twenty Somethings TV. <laughs> uh, we're gonna see you next week for more hot topics. Thank you and peace. Thanks for having us on.